We're going to do some really fun leaf art. It makes great gifts, so if you're strapped for cash and you want to do some great presents for people for Christmas, this is your movie, so stay tuned. Okay, first you're going to get two old sheets of copy paper um, that you use for your computer. Or you can use newspaper or old advertisements that uh, end up as junk mail in your mailbox. So get two sheets, and then you're going to make two sheets of wax paper. I've already used these quite a few times. Um, so just make a couple of squares of wax paper, about 12 inches by 12 inches each. And then we're going to put some leaves in between the wax paper and we're going to press it with the iron. I have it set to cotton, which is a medium high, and we're going to press the leaves. Okay, as you can see, I've laid the leaves out on the wax paper, which is on top of um, the copy paper. And my leaves were damp, so I just patted them dry with a uh, napkin. And then I'm just going to cover them with the other sheet of wax paper, like that. I'm going to put the other piece of scrap copy paper on top and then I'm just going to iron it just for a couple minutes, making sure the leaves get pressed down nice and flat and they're dried out. So now I've pressed them and I'm just going to take the top layer of wax paper off, and then the leaves, they lose a little bit of their color, some of them, because of the dry heat, um, and then just slide them over on your pile of leaves. They're all flattened, pressed, and dried, ready to make art, and uh, we're going to do some more, and then we're going to put together in pictures. So here we have some more leaves that I did, and these are red, and I just press them. They're all set, and I'm going to put them in the pile um, over here as well. Put your leaves in a nice pile over there, nice fall colors. Okay, so you're going to want to save the stems. I cut these off before I uh, press them. That way they go a lot flatter, but you might want to use these to make different shapes in your artwork, like a butterfly or insect. Um, you're going to want construction paper, and I'm using fall colors for this project. So you're going to need some picture frames. I picked this one up at a garage sale for a dollar. This one came from one of the dollar stores. Um, you can find frames that are made in America at the dollar store. Um, you just have to look to see where it was made. Um, so we're going to start out with these two frames, and I'm going to pick up some more later on, but this is what I have to work with for now. So find the color of paper that works best for you. I tried red, but actually the leaves show up a lot better on this light colored yellow, which is a fall color as well. So I have a glue stick and I just rubbed the glue on the back of the leaf and I'm going to flip it over and stick it to the paper. Okay, so I'm continuing to put the leaves down with the glue and I'm just putting it in a way where maybe it would have fallen this way naturally. So we're doing kind of like a collage of fallen leaves. So just play around with it, have some fun, position your leaves in different places and see how it looks, where you want to place your leaves. Um, be gentle putting on the glue so you don't tear the leaf. Find out where you want to stick it before you put the glue on and then place it gently and pat down. Okay, so if you have any yellow showing, any of the background showing, and you don't want to have that, or if a leaf cracks and breaks, you can take a smaller leaf and just glue it down over top, like that. 
Okay, so we're done with our picture. And as you can see, it just looks like fallen leaves. All different colors. It's beautiful. Um, I may go ahead and do a little bit of glue strips here and there and sprinkle some glitter on it and see how that works and then put it in the picture frame. So I just took some liquid glitter glue and I just went around the edges of a few leaves on the picture just to make them stand out. And um, so I'm just going to wait for this to dry. And I think it just really adds to the picture. Um, so after that dries, I'm going to place it in the frame with some colored background. So this is what your picture will look like in the frame. I, I'm going to put some colored paper behind here, like a red or an orange or some color like that, maybe green. Or you could also put a mat around it, have a mat cut. This particular frame didn't come with glass, and it kind of needs glass because it needs to press this down a little flat because I sealed it with a heavy coat of hairspray, and then I dried everything with a hair dryer. Um, and so it's a little bit rumply here and there, and I want to just um, flatten that. So I'm going to get a piece of plexiglass cut and put it in the frame to finish this up. But as you can see, this is what it would look like. It's really beautiful. It's a lot of fun. It hardly costs anything at all and makes a fabulous gift. So I hope you have fun with this project and uh, give me your feedback. I'd love to hear from you.